Let's begin from the home front where efforts to contain the spread of the Ebola virus disease is on. The federal and Lagos state government's continued message is for everyone to be informed. Remember, the Ebola virus causes severe viral hemorrhagic fever, which can lead to death in 25 to 90% of all cases. Ebola is introduced into the human population through close contact with the blood, secretions, organs or other bodily fluids of infected animals such as chimpanzees, gorillas, fruit bats, monkeys and forest antelope. It then spread through human-to-human -human transmission with infection resulting from direct contact through broken skin or mucous membrane with the blood, secretion, organs or other bodily fluids such as sweat and saliva of infected persons and indirect contact with environments contaminated with such fluids. Ebola viral illness is characterized by the sudden onset of fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache and sore throat. This is followed by vomiting, diarrhea, rash, impaired kidney and liver function, and in some cases, both internal and external bleeding. Interval from infection to onset of symptoms varies between 2 to 21 days. As there is no vaccine for Ebola virus disease, do avoid physical contact with the blood or secretions of any sick person. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Be very careful in handling bush meat or avoid it totally. Avoid going to where there is information that is an outbreak of Ebola virus. Ebola transmission, I will repeat again, is through direct contact with an infected person or bodily fluids of an infected person. Individuals who are not symptomatic are not contagious. To stop transmission of this disease and prevent a large-scale outbreak similar to what is happening in other Western African countries, it is critical that persons with Ebola receive care in designated referral centers that provide the best quality care to prevent the spread of this disease to others. The Ministry has provided guidelines for healthcare facilities for the detection, isolation and treatment of persons with Ebola viral disease to health facilities. And persons who think they may have been exposed to Ebola virus to contact their healthcare providers urgently. We also welcome volunteers from, health, from the health professions and those who do volunteer shall be incentivized. Call these toll-free numbers on your screen if there's any suspected case of Ebola disease. To get more information on www.channelstv.com and on ebolaalert.org.